Hello everybody, hello my students. Our lesson today is directed angle. Let's start. Directed angle. First guys, we started before that the angle is a union of two rays have the same starting point. The ray BA unites with the ray BC equals what guys? The angle ABC. Don't forget guys, the two rays are called the two sides of the angle we studied before. But the middle point, which is B, is called the vertex of the angle. Directed angle. Directed angle is what, guys? Is an ordered pair of two rays called the two sides of the angle with a common starting point, which is the vertex. OA is called the initial side and OB is called the terminal side. Form an angle with measure theta. The direction from initial side to terminal side. Now we have an ordered pair. The first coordinate is the initial side OA and the second is OB which is the terminal side. Now we have the directed angle AOB. But if the initial side is OB and the terminal side is OA, now we have an angle the direction from initial side to terminal side now the angle is called what b o a which is the directed angle the standard position of the directed angle the angle is in standard position if guys its vertex is the origin point of the coordinate system number two its initial side lies on the positive direction of the x-axis which is OX in the opposite figure guys we have the directed angle AOB with measure theta the direction from the initial side to the terminal side the initial side is what guys yes OX ray but the vertex is O now we can say that the angle AOB is in a standard position why guys because the vertex is O and the initial side is OX ray. For example, which of the following directed angle is in standard position? Explain your answer. First figure guys, the angle is not in the standard position. Why guys? Ask yourself. Because the vertex is not the origin point which is O. Figure B is not in the standard position, but why guys? We have the origin point is a vertex, but the initial side guys is not the OX ray. In figure C, the angle is in the standard position. Why? Because O is a vertex and OX ray is the initial side. The last one guys, the angle is not in the standard position. Why? Because the initial side is not the OX ray. So the correct answer is figure C. Positive measure and negative measure of directed angle. And directed angle has positive measure if the direction of the arrow from initial side to terminal side is anti-clockwise guys but if the arrow from the initial side to terminal side is with clockwise we have a negative angle or negative measure of the angle for example guys find the measure of the directed angle theta in each of the following figures number one guys the direction from the initial to terminal is with clockwise now we have a negative measure now theta equals what guys 360 degrees minus 55 degrees but multiplied by negative 1 now theta equals a negative measure equals negative 305 number 2 guys we have a positive measure why because the direction from the initial to terminal side is anti-clockwise 
Now theta equals 360 minus 33. Now theta equals 327 degrees. Number 3, we have a positive integer. It's easy. Now theta equals 360 minus 125 degrees. Now theta equals 235 degrees. Finally, we have a negative measure. Why, guys? Because the direction from the initial to the terminal side is with clockwise. Now, theta equals negative 360 degrees minus 134 degrees. Now theta equals negative 226 degrees. Angle's position in the orthogonal coordinate plane. If we have a coordinate plane, guys, x-axis and y-axis, we have four quadrant. The first quadrant, if the measure 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, the measures are between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. So the angle in the first quadrant but if the angle between guys 90 degrees and 180 degrees like 135 degrees 175 degrees 120 degrees so the position of the angle is second quadrant the third quadrant guys from 180 degrees to 270 degrees for example, 210 degrees, 240 degrees, 260 degrees are in the third quadrant. Finally, the fourth quadrant, guys, from 270 degrees to 360 degrees. Pay attention, guys, 360 degrees is equivalent to 0 degrees. For example, 315 degrees, 345 degrees, 300 degrees are in fourth quadrant. Note, guys, determine the negative measure of each of the following angles, positive measure and negative measure. The first, it's the rule. If the positive measure is theta degrees, to find the negative measure, just subtract 360 degrees from the positive measure. For example, guys, 88 degrees. To find the negative measure, just subtract 360 degrees. Now, 88 degrees minus 360 degrees equals what guys yes it will be negative 272 degrees next 152 degrees to find the negative measure it will be 152 degrees minus 360 degrees equals negative 208 degrees next guys 180 degrees minus 360 degrees it will be negative 180 degrees 300 degrees just subtract 360 degrees we get negative 60 degrees finally 196 degrees minus 360 degrees equals negative 164 degrees but to find guys the positive measure of each of the following angles we have a negative measure to find the positive measure just add 360 degrees the first one is a rule if the negative measure is negative theta degrees so the positive measure it will be negative theta degrees plus 360 degrees for example, guys, negative 52 degrees. To find the positive measure, just add 360 degrees. We get 308 degrees. Negative 126 degrees. It will be negative 126 degrees plus 360 degrees. Just find the difference with the positive sign. It will be 234 degrees negative 90 degrees plus 360 degrees it will be 270 degrees negative 320 degrees it will be negative 320 degrees plus 360 degrees equals 40 degrees finally to find the positive measure of negative 120 degrees just add guys it's easy 360 degrees 
it will be 240 degrees so don't forget guys to find the positive measure of a negative measure just add 360 degrees but to find the negative measure of the positive measure we will subtract 360 degrees it's a rule the equivalent angles in the first figure guys we have a directed angle with measure theta degrees in the standard position but the second figure we have two angles the first is theta degrees the second guys is theta degrees plus 360 degrees the two angles guys are equivalent in the third figure we have two angles the first is theta degrees the second is theta degrees plus two rounds one round equals what equals 360 degrees so theta degrees and theta degrees plus two times 360 degrees are equivalent are equivalent means what guys the two angles are in the same quadrant but the last figure guys the two angles theta and the theta degrees minus 360 degrees the positive measure and negative measure are equivalent let's have an example to find an equivalent angle we have two ways with positive integer and with negative integer if it with positive integer just subtract 360 degrees if it negative just add 360 degrees for example guys to find an angle is equivalent to 665 degrees this degrees is greater than 360 degrees so you have to subtract 360 degrees now the equivalent angle of 665 degrees equals 665 degrees minus 360 degrees equals 305 degrees number two guys to find an equivalent angle of negative 120 degrees it's negative measure just add 360 degrees we get 240 degrees pay attention guys the two angles negative 120 degrees and 240 degrees lie in the same quadrant which is what guys yes the third quadrant let's have an example example determine the quadrant in which of the following angles lie number one guys negative 400 degrees first guys find the equivalent angle with positive measure just add 360 degrees we will get negative 400 degrees plus 360 degrees equals negative 40 degrees it's still guys negative measure we will add another round just add 360 degrees to negative 40 degrees equals what guys equals 320 degrees now ask yourself guys 320 degrees between what and what yes between 270 degrees and 360 degrees 320 degrees is in the fourth quadrant now the equivalent angle which is negative 400 degrees in the fourth quadrant second negative 150 degrees to find the positive measure just add 360 degrees we will get 210 degrees now guys 210 degrees is greater than 180 degrees and less than 270 degrees now 210 degrees is in the third quadrant we can deduce that the equivalent which is negative 150 degrees is in the third quadrant let's have another example determine the quadrant in which of the following angles now we have a positive measure which is 720 degrees we will subtract 360 degrees because the measure is greater than 360 degrees we will get 360 degrees now guys 360 degrees is called quadrantal angle the quadrantal angle like 90 degrees 0 degrees 
360 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees. Don't forget the quadrantal angles are 0 degrees, 360 degrees, 90 degrees, 270 degrees and 180 degrees number two 500 degrees to find the equivalent yes just subtract 360 degrees to be between 0 and 360 degrees it will be 140 degrees now ask yourself guys 140 degrees is lying between what and what guys yes is lying between 90 degrees and 180 degrees is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees now 140 degrees in the second quadrant we will deduce that 500 degrees is in the second quadrant if you like my video, subscribe to my channel for more math videos. See you next video.